I had a dream several weeks ago that I want to share because I feel this wasn't just for me. This dream was silent, but I could feel everything that was being said. I was driving my car to a border checkpoint, and in my passenger seat was a new comforter, white sheets, and a pillow. I drove up to the checkpoint where an angel dressed in army fatigues was holding a clipboard, and he came to my passenger side window. He looked at the clipboard, then he looked at my passenger seat. While he was looking at the clipboard, I glanced glanced at a building that was to my right, which was filled with people who looked frustrated and worried and discouraged. Many were going through all of their things, checking to see if they had everything they needed to go forward. They were questioning every step, their abilities to complete those steps. And when I turned back to the angel, he pointed forward and I felt this urgency to go. I hit the gas and then I woke up. You know, we are vehicles that carry the Holy Spirit, which he provides comfort, guidance, and security for to go forward. I feel God is saying that those who feel like they can't step forward because they feel deficient, fearful, or insecure, that vehicles are coming which will carry you while giving you comfort, guidance, and security to take those steps forward. God is building the body of Christ, and we should be able to come alongside each other and use our strengths to sharpen and refine one another while growing and maturing into vehicles with an abundance of supplies. We should be able to carry someone else to their destination. I feel many are at checkpoints right now, and I want to be a vehicle of encouragement for you and lift you up in prayer. I hope this will help bring some comfort and give you a secure step to go. Now, I want to pray for you in a minute, but first, but first, I want to share a quick story um, of a, a friend of mine from church. One day she had a wreck leaving church, and she wrecked on a, a road that many of us from church travel down because it leads from the church all the way downtown. So um, many people were passing her, and right after she had the wreck, she had reached out to me to see if I could come help her. And while I was on my way to assist her, I got a phone call from another church member that said they had just passed her, and they saw that she had had a wreck and told me that another friend had stopped to also assist her. At that moment, I was realizing how we are all on the same road together. We are all traveling the same distance. And every now and again, our lanes are going to merge and we're going to have to help assist one another. We're going to have to help carry one another, encourage one another, even pick someone up and get them to the finish line. And sometimes there's vehicles that are coming along and going to pick you and I up and assist us to get to the finish line. That was what the body of Christ truly is. And even several weeks after she's had the wreck, I've had two people come up to me and ask me if I was okay. They saw I was in a wreck and said they had passed me on that road. And I explained to him it wasn't me. I was coming to help someone. So see, we are all on the same road together. And we all should look out, be watchful and mindful for one another. And when someone needs help, you need to be willing to bring your vehicle along and give them that comfort, give them that guidance, give them that security that they need to get back up and keep going forward. So this week, ask the Holy Spirit to reveal to you what's the next step. Whether you're going to be a vehicle for someone or ask if a vehicle is going to come along for you. But once you know, go. Well, now allow me to pray for you. Father, thank you for the Holy Spirit and the guidance and comfort he gives. Prepare us to be vehicles supplied with an abundance of knowledge, compassion, mercy, and grace to pick someone up along the way and help prepare their, and help them prepare their vehicles. Align us as one body in Christ to grow in courage, strength, knowledge, and maturity in order to see when we need to help carry someone or when someone needs to help carry us. 
Father, open our senses to be able to focus on you. Step forward. Help us to trust the abilities you placed in us and move past the checkpoints into something new. Thank you, Father, for your steadfast love and the mercy which leads us through and provides all that we need. Bless us with unity to fulfill your will. All of this I pray in Yeshua's name. Amen.